ever wondered why the ground beneath us sometimes starts to shake? That, my friends, is an earthquake. Just like how we have different pieces in a jigsaw puzzle, our Earth, too, is made up of large pieces that fit together. These pieces are called tectonic plates. Now imagine if your jigsaw puzzle pieces started to move. Wouldn't that be something? That's exactly what happens with our Earth. These tectonic plates, they move. They slide past each other, they bump into each other, and sometimes they even move away from each other. And when these plates move, it causes the ground to shake. This shaking is what we call an earthquake. It's like the Earth is playing its own game of tag. Isn't that fun to think about? So the next time you feel the ground shake, remember it's just the Earth's plates playing a game of tag. Did you know that not all earthquakes are the same? That's correct. There are different types of earthquakes. Let's explore three main kinds, tectonic, volcanic, and collapse earthquakes. Imagine you're playing with puzzle pieces, but two pieces are stuck. Suddenly, they slide into place with a whoosh. That's pretty much how a tectonic earthquake works. It happens when the Earth's plates move and suddenly slip. Now, think about a mountain that's been holding in a mighty sneeze. When it finally goes, achoo, that's a volcanic earthquake. It's caused by the intense heat and pressure from a volcano. Lastly, imagine a sandcastle crumbling because it can't hold itself up anymore. That's similar to a collapse earthquake, which happens when caves or a similar structures underground give way. So, whether it's a puzzle piece slipping into place or a mountain saying, ah choo, that's how different types of earthquakes happen. You might be wondering what exactly happens when an earthquake strikes. Well, imagine you're on a giant floating puzzle piece. These pieces, or plates, are always moving, but we usually can't feel it. Now, when these plates get stuck and then suddenly release, that's when we experience an earthquake. It can feel like the ground is shaking and rolling beneath you, kind of like being on a boat in the ocean. This shake, rattle, and roll might feel a bit scary, but it's all a part of nature's process. Sometimes, the ground might even crack or split, creating what we call fissures. And yes, things might fall or break, but that's why we need to know how to stay safe, which we'll talk about in the next scene. Just remember, during an earthquake, the Earth is just doing its own version of a dance. Even though earthquakes are a natural part of the Earth's movements, it's important to know how to stay safe when one occurs. Firstly, let's remember the golden rule, drop, cover, and hold on. As soon as you feel the ground shake, drop to your knees. This keeps you from falling, but lets you still move if you need to. Next, find something sturdy to hide under, like a table or a desk, and cover your head and neck with your arms. Hold on to your shelter until the shaking stops. If you can't find something to hide under, sit against a wall away from windows and cover your head and neck. Stay away from windows, glass, walls, and anything else that could hurt you if it breaks or falls. And remember, never run outside during an earthquake. It's actually safer to stay where you are until the shaking stops. If you're already outside, find an open area away from buildings, trees, streetlights, and utility wires, and drop, cover, and hold on. If you're in bed when an earthquake happens, stay there. Cover your head and neck with a pillow unless you're under a heavy light fixture that could fall. In that case, move to the nearest safe place. Lastly, don't forget to stay calm. It's scary when the ground shakes, but remembering these safety tips can help you stay safe. So remember these safety tips and you'll be a pro at handling earthquakes. Wow, we've learned so much about earthquakes today. We've discovered that earthquakes are caused by the Earth's crust moving around. We've also learned about the different types of earthquakes and what happens during one. Most importantly, we've explored how to stay safe when an earthquake happens, like finding a safe spot away from windows. So now you know, earthquakes are just the Earth's way of shaking things up a bit. Stay curious, stay safe, and keep learning.